Back on SportsBit, Paulie and Teddy. Time for a big game breakdown. As always, live odds, sportsbookreview.com. Monday night football, the Bengals. Ton of Bengals money. Now favored by one at the Giants. 47 and a half the total. They're coming off the long bye since that overtime tie in London against the Redskins. Eifert back into full swing. Time to tweak the playbook, Teddy. As we've discussed for about the last month or two here on SportsBit, they're moving the ball. But all the red zone issues because of no Eifert. Yeah, well, with Eifert back in the lineup, all of a sudden, because the Redskins, they were scoring touchdowns in the red zone. And they really, what do you have, 13 touchdown catches last year? They missed him. But while the offense should be a notch or two better, and you think when you have that extra time, and again, it was an extended break, even the extra day uh, to Monday Night Football, uh, you would think the chemistry is going to be there uh, with that extra time to uh, tweak the playbook. Uh, but... The defense got a problem, man. No uh, May, uh, Ray Maluga tonight. That forces Vinny Ray uh, into a starting role, and that could well be a problem uh, against this Giants offense. They have those three great wide receivers. You see the graphic here with the numbers. Beckham, 44 grabs, 600 and se- 676 yards. Shepard, 34 for 384. And Cruz, 25 for 377. But no running game at all. Now, can they get this running game going with Jennings coming back? They might. I mean, in theory... The running game is supposed to start working when the downfield passing game is working. Now, obviously, that hasn't happened yet for the G-men. There's been a lot of botched execution in the ground game. But when you've got three receivers and any one of the three can stretch the field and you have only 546 yards on the ground, there were 12 individual running backs that entered the week with more yards than that. Jeremy Hill, for instance, he was close, 515. Now, I mean, Jennings has been real slow to get on track. You know, a guy who is consistently averaging in the, the four, four and a half uh, yards per rush range so far this season, only 2.6. But back in the lineup with the downfield passing game working, I have to think that the Giants find at least something to bring a little bit more balance on offense. The running game isn't going to be dead forever. Thoughts on the Giants defense? Money well spent. Are they getting it done in your opinion? I think that from a personnel standpoint, I've been impressed with the Giants. From an execution standpoint, I haven't. And McAdoo, as a coach, has been a little bit spotty for me in in a lot of ways. But when you talk about teams that have potential, the 2016 NFL is about teams that have offensive playmakers and defensive playmakers. And the Giants have both of those. So uh, there's hope for the G-men moving forward, but they got to get past Cincy. Tonight, to be, I mean, not that they're dead if they don't get past Cincy tonight, but uh, if the Giants are going to do anything, you know, they, they got to get to nine or ten wins uh, to get the playoff spot in the NFC. They're capable. They're a very capable football team. But uh, what well, you asked me about the defense, pretty good. <laughs> pretty good, but maybe not living up to the talent level just yet. Hey, guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. Research before you bet. Be sure to check out SPR Picks for the best game predictions, breakdowns, and much, much more.